Hey guys, my name is Brad Allen. I'm the broker over at The Art of Real Estate. I wanted to take a couple seconds today and show you this great listing that we have at 3329 Murray Street. Um, looks can be deceiving from the outside. However, the outside of this house is fantastic and it only gets better with the inside. So I'm going to take you on a short tour. I'm going to point out some features I think you might like. And um, as always, you can reach us at theartteam.net to set up a showing or anything else you might need. So here we go. So the owner of this property had have bought it and uh, decided to renovate it. They did all new landscaping outside. They replaced a bunch of the windows. Everything's been freshly painted. Uh, all new sod, uh, irrigation, and the back is just as nice. Uh, there's full gutters on the house. Um, a good part about this house is the stoop, how it sits back. Um, it's definitely a 1960s era um, bungalow style house um, and part of that is because right when you walk in the front door give it a second for the lighting to adjust um, you're greeted by the open floor plan um, also when you walk in this fireplace also serves as a hallway and we'll go down there in a second but as you walk in um, on your right hand side this room can be used as a formal dining room or the previous owners had it set up as a second uh, formal living room over here is kind of the family room with a nice fireplace wood burning uh, it's all been wrapped in marble tile, a new fireplace hearth. And then, of course, it's all masonry around it, which has been freshly painted. Um, the nice oak floors take you throughout the house. Uh, the owner's redone the kitchen uh, entirely. And most of the house, they've taken it down to the studs. If you've seen this house a couple years ago, you'd be amazed. Um, obviously, granite countertops. These are custom cabinets made by Marsh. They're real hardwood made cabinets. You can see the dovetailing right there and the soft clothes. The appliances are an LG model. Um, the crown molding that follows it around, stainless steel sinks, tile backsplash. Um, the refrigerator is included with this sale. And also right off the kitchen is the laundry room, which also serves as a mud room. You can come off straight off the right side of the house, right where you park, and come directly in the home. So we look out back out this way. You're going to see that the, if you're cooking or preparing or whatever you might do, um, it's going to be an open concept so that way you can see and entertain as you prepare. The seller also took this old um, screened in porch, which has got a concrete floor, and made it into a breakfast nook that actually had a dining room table in here. That's how large the actual room is. Um, off of this breakfast area, they put a deck in with stairs that go down to the ground, which we'll walk out there in a second. Um, to show you the outside, try not to spin too fast. Uh, as we continue our way around, I'll show you the master suite, which is brand new. Um, it's a good size master suite at that. Um, easily can easily hold a, a king size bed. A neat feature that you'll see back here in these Melrose Heights homes is their closets are tiny, but not this one. This is a huge walk-in closet compared to what's around here. The master bath, which was added. Oh, there I am in the mirror, I apologize. Um, a glass enclosed shower. Nice travertine looking tile on the floor. Granite vanity, custom vanity. And then of course a large soaking tub. Um, it's the little things like the comfort height toilet that's right there. Um, and of course all of this has been done um, by licensed contractors, but everything's so nice and crisp. The drywall, the corners, the trim. Um, a lot of these older houses, you get years and years of paint built up and it kind of makes it feel old and dated. As we go down to the other part of the house, uh, the three bedrooms that share, um, some share a bathroom, some have a private. Um, this is one bedroom on the back side of the house. Um, good size. Um, corner windows, these windows, as you can tell, are thermopane windows. There's two inch faux wood blinds throughout. Um, as you spin back around, you can kind of see a better angle. And then the Jack and Jill bathroom, which would been, has been done as well. A new vanity, comfort height, low flow toilets. That's a cast iron tub that is not fiberglass with a tile surround. And even little finishes like a great shower head. The other bedroom with built-ins. Closet is behind that door. Still a good size closet for this age of a house. As we head towards back the front of the house, um, this other bedroom, which is on the front left corner of the house, um, is the largest of the three secondary bedrooms. Uh, again, new windows, faux wood blinds, a large closet. A 
linen closets on the, on the hall. And then of course, another renovated bathroom, new vanities, everything in here is new, including windows, exhaust fan. Um, the seller's done a really good job to incorporate the modern conveniences everybody wants with the traditional character. Um, now we're gonna head downstairs. And by downstairs, the owner has finished off part of the basement, which is great. Um, these stairs aren't steep like sometimes you get in renovation houses. Um, you know, it's got good treads. You've got a built-in closet or built-in shelves here, excuse me. And then what he's done is this is tile that looks like hardwoods. So you don't have to worry about tracking mud and dirt in and ruining any kind of carpet or uh, maybe linoleum. Again, windows, updated fixtures. Forgot to point out all the recess lighting that goes around here as well. Through this door is a workshop with its own access to outside, so you don't have to worry about lugging stuff in through your nice uh, living room. And that's kind of what the owner has done down here. Previously, they had it set up as a playroom slash kind of catch-all with couches and a TV, so um, the kids or whoever could be away if you were entertaining upstairs. Um, behind this door is all your walk-in utilities, um, your air handler, crawl space, but it's all head height and there's plenty of room back there. As we head outside, I want to point out some neat features. Um, there's your air unit, which has been replaced recently. Um, the exterior of the addition is party plank. This is the stairs that come down from upstairs um, that wrap around. It's a little patio down here. Um, as you can look back up to the front, you can walk straight back here from the front of the house. One part of the yard, which is flat, so if you have any concerns about being on slopes, um, you've got this part right here that's nice and flat. Um, his summer ryegrass has started to die out, but um, it's the regular grass is starting to come through. You can see the back of the house with the deck. And this part of the property down here is also um, comes with the property. It's got a nice retaining wall and then a flat area with a fence that goes down a little bit below that as well. Um, the owner had plans that they were going to stay here to put a pool in down this area with a nice little deck that goes down to it. I mean, the, uh, the options are endless. And if you look up, you've got some great, great trees, old growth, oak and pine. Um, it's just a really well done house. As you can tell, the, the gutters on the back with leaf guards, so you don't have to worry about getting up there and cleaning it. Um, this house is just about 2,600 square feet. I think it's 2,585. It's four bedrooms, three bath. Again, the address is uh, 3329 Murray Street. Um, been pretty much totally redone and um, it's just waiting on you. So why don't you contact the art team today for a showing or for anything else that you might need and uh, we'd love to sell you this house.